everybody, it's Elise Bauer from Simply Recipes. Today we're going to make a one pot chicken and orzo dish, which is perfect for a weeknight meal. You're working with chicken thighs, and the first thing you're going to want to do is trim the excess skin and fat from your chicken thighs. Now you can use chicken breasts, bone in, skin on if you want, or even chicken drumsticks. But in any of the case, you're going to want to trim off as much of the excess fat as you can. Then, sprinkle both sides with a little bit of salt. Do this first before you do anything else with this recipe. It'll help dry out moisture and increase the flavor of the chicken. Pat dry the chicken pieces on both sides. Pick up as much moisture as you can with a paper towel. This way, the chicken won't splatter so much when it goes in the pan. Heat two teaspoons of olive oil and a teaspoon of butter in a large skillet, large enough to fit all of the chicken pieces. And when the butter is foamy, lay the chicken pieces in the pan, skin side down. Let the chicken pieces cook for about five minutes without turning, giving them a chance to brown on that side before turning them over. Once you turn over the pieces, let them cook for another four minutes on the other side. Once the chicken pieces have browned on both sides, remove them from the pan and set aside, but don't remove the fat that is in the pan. See all those brown bits at the bottom of the pan? That's filled with flavor. We're gonna use the fat that's remaining in the pan to now brown the orzo. Add two cups of orzo to the hot pan. We're cooking the orzo like one would cook a traditional rice pilaf, but instead of using rice, we are browning the orzo. It's still gonna infuse the orzo with all this wonderful nutty flavor. Once the orzo starts to brown, stir in one and a half cups of chopped onion. Reduce the heat to medium and let cook, stirring often, two to three minutes until the onions begin to soften. Then add the minced garlic and cook a half a minute more. In a large measuring cup, stir together two and a quarter cups of chicken stock, three quarter cups of canned crushed tomatoes, some black pepper, about half a teaspoon, and about a teaspoon of salt. Next, place the browned chicken thighs skin side up on top of the orzo. Pour the tomato stock mixture over the orzo. Increase the heat to medium high and let the stock in the pan come to a full boil. Lower the heat to the lowest heat you need to maintain a bare simmer. Cover and let cook until the orzo has completely absorbed the liquid and the chicken is cooked through about 10 to 12 minutes. Remove from heat and let sit for five minutes before serving. Add more salt and pepper if you need and sprinkle with fresh parsley to serve. 